The first piece is observing the world in order to ask an interesting question, right? I mean, and you can observe the world in lots of different ways. When we talk about human-centered design, we're really talking about observing the way humans live their lives and asking interesting questions about, hey, why does somebody do this and not that? Or why is somebody struggling with this problem? Why, why is it hard for somebody to open that? Uh, uh, struggle, are they, why are they struggling to open that jam jar lid? Well, so maybe I could redesign the jam jar lid, right? Or maybe I could give them a tool to help them, right? So, so why is this happening? So the first step is that uh, looking at the world and coming up with a good question. For making a mouse, that means watching how people use computers and observing what they want and what they don't. This is the first Apple computer mouse. The assignment was straightforward. They had to take the computer mouse, a $400 device at the time, and bring it down to under 35 bucks, make it mass producible and reliable. And above all, it needed to be simple. We control Lisa by pointing to these images on the screen with this unique item called a mouse. The next step is taking all the insights you have about those questions and starting to imagine ideas, like here's what I could do, here's what I might imagine doing better or differently. So that's what we often call ideation or idea making. Then comes the fun part. You test it out. Right at the beginning of the process, that might be a really simple cardboard model or a quick sketch, or if it's digital, it might be a quick digital simulation or something. And you try it out with people. Sometimes those drafts can be pretty rough. The first prototype for the mouse was a roll-on deodorant stick and a butter dish from a Palo Alto Walgreens. And you test it and see, and it doesn't work. Okay, so I need to rethink my idea and I do it again, right? And this is where the iteration comes in. And until you get to something that truly meets somebody's needs or a set of people's needs. Now, the only the, the last bit of the process, which which arguably happens in that iteration, also is the storytelling piece, right? Because always you're trying to explain to people why your why your idea is interesting. Macintosh, the computer. For